from the book. Draw 50 beasties and yuglies and turnover uglies and things that go bump in the night. <laughs> in particular, we are drawing Mr. Dudley Yeldud. Dudley Yeldud. This has got all kinds of cool, weird characters in it. Kind of an, oh, there's Dudley. Here's the one we're drawing today. It looks, that's what I look like when I get up in the morning, pretty much. Yeah. Is her name? Bees are. Mm -hmm. Does, yeah, it's mostly a bunch of creepy looking guys and gals, but old Dudley, he's, he's kind of a normal looking fella, maybe a bit of a clown. Now, once again, I recommend to you that you work very lightly in pencil to start with, then finish off the last step in dark ink. I'll use red for the early stages, and then I'll go back and I will finish it. All right. So we start drawing his body. This is a guy with a big body and a tiny little head. You know, kind of a roughly heart-shaped body to start with. His head is kind of a diamond with rounded edges. That's where his legs are going to go. Now, this drawing is created by putting everything in symmetrically. So a lot of symmetry here. Symmetry means basically a mirror image all the way around. So he's going to have his collar coming up here and another line on the other side, pretty much the same. And his shoulder starts here, another line on the other side. His cuffs, Right about here, right about here. Blocking it in this way makes it easier to get the pieces roughly the same size and in roughly the same place on both sides, just as if you had a mirror going right down the middle. So, yeah, at the bottom here, got the cuffs of his pants. And his legs coming off his belly. Let's see. Looks like I got them all in. There I go. So I give him his little bow for his hair. Finish off his collar. There's his upper arm on both sides. The palms of his hands. I'm going to start his tie his shirt and his belt. And his shoes. Once again, starting at the top, now I'm gonna Fill out that bow a little bit. His eyebrows. This is either a five o'clock shadow or he's an actual clown with 
clown white makeup on. The smile is going to go there. Now we're going to close off some of these places on his arms and his cuffs. Now, I, I'm a little off here on his belt. Well, not too bad. I'm just going to leave it. I'll, I'll just I'll just deal with it. Now, it's got a little too much bend to it, so I'll smooth that down a little bit. Still dealing in rat lines right about there. Right about there. Steve. Sebastian, can you go a little bit slower, please? Uh, have you got your lesson in front of you? Yeah, it just like, can you go a little bit slower? Uh, nope. Nope, I'm going to go the speed that I go. Okay. You get your lesson in front of you in case I get ahead of you. You can just catch up using that. Because we are, after all, on, on the, the television here, on the interweb, on the YouTube, eventually. And the nice thing is that you can always go back into the recording. And you can pause it if you like. But yeah, I got to move through the drawing lesson. I can't go too slowly here. And it's okay if you have to catch up. Don't feel like you have to keep up in order to get the drawing right. All right, so I'm going to come in here and give him his eyes. Start his ears, just the first little curl. Shoulders. Now, I like the way he does the tie. The first thing he has you do is divide it into thirds. That's pretty easy to eyeball. That is belt in here. And now I'm going to connect all of these parts again by, by drawing a little piece at a time. It's easier to get the belt symmetrical with its odd shape instead of trying to draw it all at once. That works pretty well. Yeah, now come back in here. Connect his ears to his head, which is good. Can't have him just floating out there in the nether world. I got to remember, I want the collar to be a little bigger when I do the final picture. So I'm going to extend that now. When I go in with black, I'll use the larger collar. You can make adjustments like that in the final version of your picture. Now I can go back into his tie and divide all of those sections in half.
And he's got these big spindly fingers. Let's see if I got it all. Yeah. So it looks like I have him all set for the first seven steps. And now it's time to go in and do the final version in black. Start at the top here. Any place where I haven't got it quite right, I can fix that as I do the final version. That's part of why I don't worry too much about getting all the lines right the first time through with the red. I'm just trying to get a good idea of where the lines are going to go. Anybody notice anything funny about the name Dudley Yeldud? Yeah, it's backwards. The first name, the last name is backwards. The last name is his first name backwards. Yeah. That's right. Anybody know what you call it when you've got a phrase that is spelled the same backwards and forwards? Um. I think it was something. Palindrome. 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 So Dudley Yell Dud. There we go. D U D L E Y. D U D L E Y. Backwards and forwards. That's like Taco Cat. There's a palindrome. He's a very smart guy to sit down and figure all that out. And he's very funny. Smart people are often very funny. Albert Einstein was very funny. He had a great sense of humor. So since we blocked in everything as nice as you please, it's very easy to come in here just go over it with the dark ink. I don't really agonize over that because drawing is fun. We're supposed to be having fun. I'm having fun. I wouldn't do this if I wasn't having fun. That's the nice thing about being a volunteer.
kind of a silly looking tie, but was the time people wore silly looking ties all the time. When I was your age, we stopped putting on a coat and tie to go to the movies. But I can definitely remember when I was, say, four to six years old, if you went to the movies, you put on a coat and tie. Had to dress up. Things lightened up in the late 60s, but before that, it was it was pretty common to go out and about what we would consider dressed up now. That was just your normal daily attire. So I'm just old enough, just old enough to remember that time in history. I was born in 1959. So that means I've been part of eight decades now. 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, the 2000s, the 2010s, and now the 2020s. So I caught a little bit of both ends. And things are very different, but a lot of things are very much the same. Now, you know what's interesting about this picture? Anybody tell me something interesting you noticed about your picture of Dudley Yeldud, the man with the palindrome name? His face looks like a bear. It does. It does look like a bear. Um, he's a superhero. He could be a superhero. It's all true. In fact, his superhero power might be being able to change the way he looks. Also, is he wearing a coat? Or like a he could be wearing a coat. But if you turn the picture upside down, you can see instead of a big guy with a little head, he's a little guy with a big head. Now here's his ears and his hair puffing out, weird hat. His eyes are closed. He's got a big smile, tiny little body, tiny little feet. Or he's a big guy with a tiny little head that looks like a bear and a bow tie. And that, my darlings dear, is your turnover ugly Dudley Yeldud, the man with the palindrome for a name. And that will be our drawing lesson for this week. Please continue to send me your pictures. I always enjoy looking at them. And why don't you show me what you drew today?